today is a good day. I ordered this Sony camera in February and it finally has arrived. I got it from Moment and uh, it is the Sony ZV-E10 and it's finally here. Let's unbox this. gosh i can't believe i finally have it in my hands if you guys didn't know sony zv e10 is like for vlogging the screen is flipped out to the side instead of on top feels so good in my hands Been charged. I'm gonna have to go charge this, okay? <gasps> There's no char. What kind of camera does not come with a charger? What? Oh, hell no. Wait, hold on. Is this the type where you charge it inside? Look up how to charge Sony ZV-E10 camera battery. <gasps> Charging the battery pack while it's inserted in the camera. Three days later. While watching the setup tutorial, the guy said that the batteries run out really quick. So I got two extras and it came with a charger and a USB plug thingy and a bob. But my question is, why does it smell like incense? <laughs> why does this whole package smell like incense though? If I can describe how it smells right now, it literally smells like... Maybe not incense, but like firewood. It's a couple days later and it's 11 p.m. right now. In my Amazon box that came earlier today. <laughs> and I forgot what I got here, but it's for the camera too. I don't know what I got. What did I get? Oh, right. Duh. I got the tripod. What is this? Oh, you can use this for your phone. But wait, there's more. Oh, right, I got the one with the remote control. It's so funny that I don't remember what I got because I think I ordered this like at 1 a.m. in the morning and I was just like delirious when I bought it. So. But what I'm excited for is this. I'm gonna go take a shower and then afterwards I'm gonna go try this out. Ah! Four to six more days later. Get around to playing with it and now I finally am it's Friday now I think I last talked to you on Monday or Tuesday but now I'm just opening up my new lens oh she light I love how light this is okay it also comes with a cloth so you can clean your lens with as well as I believe these are directions uh, but who needs directions right no I'm kidding <laughs> No, I really should read directions because I don't know how to take this off. Okay, so attaching a lens. Remove the body cap from the camera and the rear lens cap from the rear of the lens. Okay. 
Okay, I think I've discovered how to do it. And mind you, I'm a complete noob with photography and cameras and stuff. So I took off the front and the rear. I don't know if I was supposed to take this off. I don't think I was supposed to, but that's what I did. And then I was like, how the heck are you supposed to? I was trying to take apart this lens for a second. But there's like an opening, there's like a dip inside the lens here of the original camera and I just started trying to do this and it fits perfectly. So I'm pretty sure this is how you're supposed to do it. Hey, okay. Thank God I did not break this. I was like, oh my God, if, if I'm careless, I am going to break this new camera. Okay, I'm gonna unbox this tripod thing so I can try it out as well. Hello, friends. Ooh, I love this. Okay, let me put you guys in. That doesn't sound right. Let me take the SD card out of this camera and put it into this camera and test it with you guys. Three weeks later. Girl, my hair. Like, I need to go take a shower right now. It's a couple weeks later. <laughs> And I am now testing out this camera. I've had so many other vlogs to edit and like upload onto YouTube. I'm at a point where I can plan to start vlogging again to prep for upcoming videos. Anyways, this does really zoom in close to your face when you turn it on. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like this, but I'm gonna go take a shower. I just got my vlog edited, uploaded, scheduled, thumbnail done. Sunday post for Instagram and everything done, girl. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, but I'm gonna take a shower now and I'm gonna go get my car washed and then afterwards I'm planning to go to my boyfriend's and we're gonna head out with a bunch of friends to the Anomaly concert in SF. So I'm really excited about that. I need to clean up because I look so tired. The next day. I'm gonna record a day in the work life I'm supposed to have the, the day off honestly today, but uh, there's too many things going on. Like I have a memorial service to go to. I'm meeting with my wholesaler Rocks from Pippi Plans. And I was invited to speak at a Zoom call for Texas Planner Babes tonight. So <laughs> it's just not gonna work out. Anyways, I just got my car wash done and um, I content planned and uh, had a meeting this morning. I didn't get to film any of that, <laughs> but here we are with my closet now. How do I not have anything black to wear? I'm going to memorial service right now. And I'm looking through my closet. Look at this. I don't have anything freaking black. Like, how do I not have a shirt for memorial service? Girl. Um, so I'm gonna be on a mission. I'm gonna go to Ross or Marshalls or both. And I'm gonna try to find a black, decent blouse uh, to go with my black pants. Cause I do have black pants. I just don't have a black shirt. Like, how is this freaking even possible? <sighs> this is why I am someone who loves wearing light colors, as you can see. Even my workout clothes over here are all light. Like, come on. <laughs> Note to self, if you like to wear lights like I do, get yourself a nice black blouse. Just in case there's like a memorial service or a funeral or anything like that, do yourself a favor so you don't have to be rushing. I have 45 minutes now to head to Ross. I'm gonna go, okay, bye. don't know how I managed to do it. I managed to get everything in less than, I got two blacks and one workout shirt. I don't know how I did this, but this took me five minutes. Girl, cause when you want a mission, you want a mission. I'm taking all this off and I'm gonna change into it right now. T minus 10 minutes, nine minutes to get there. Like now, okay, bye. Later. I am at the gas station. It is now 104. I'm really late for my meeting with Rox <laughs> from Piggy Plans. Um, I told her it was going to be a really late lunch. I didn't realize it might just be a really early dinner instead. And apologies for the lighting, but yes. I'm going to put you away now. I really need to put a screen protector on this camera. I am now ready to head out. I finally like 
got the car set up. All the plushies are back in because I washed my car this morning so it took everything out. Um, and now we are ready to go. I'm gonna go pick up rocks now and uh, we're heading to this Thai restaurant and it's like a Thai brunch restaurant so I'm really excited about that. And then hopefully make a collaborative reel for Instagram because I think that'd be so cute. Let's finally have some fun today. Let's start having some fun. I'm like ready for this. And if you can see, the weather is also ready for this. I did not. Yeah, I did not plan for this. <laughs> you should have known. You knew how much you had. Yeah, I did know. <laughs> but I didn't have any bigger boxes. No, I mean the boxes they come in are pretty big. Oh, wow. Ooh! <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, just throw them in there. I was like, he's like, do you need two suitcases? I'm like, it's not going to be big. <laughs> It's a shame because they're so pretty. They are very not big. quite. They're not up to my standards. They yeah. need to be. On the standard paper, they're not too bad. Like you don't really notice it. But yeah. when the proper ones can. There you go. There you go. Done. Oh cool! Wait a minute! Oh We're good! There's somebody knows. Dang. Okay, I just got home and I had an amazing time with Rox, to be honest. Like we had the realest of the real conversations and uh, it was just a really nice day. Like the weather was beautiful and we had an outdoor late lunch, early dinner, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we, could, we just got to know each other more. I love it when friendships blossom with just initiating like, hey, you want to meet up? Sure, let's do it. And honestly, that's one reason why I love social media because it really brings people together. I'm all the way in the US. She's all the way in like the UK. Girl, my hair is not the business right now. But yeah, she's all the way in the UK and she comes out. I'm like, oh, you're coming out. Like, let's, let's meet up. And so we had really good conversations and I feel like I've just gained another friend. That was great. The traffic was not great though. We have eight minutes. T minus eight minutes until the Texas Planner Babes Zoom call. I think it's like a meet and greet. I have no idea what to really expect, but I'm excited for it because now I get to meet more people and interact with customers and followers alike. Just get to hear everyone's stories and talk to them. I kind of like it and I've been thinking a lot about just like small business in general. And I, I love, love, love the small aspect of small businesses because then you have more time to devote to um, building community and being able to speak to one another and to learn from one another Whereas for big corporations, it's really hard to to get that kind of intimacy in, inside a community. So I am cherishing these moments while I can and Honestly taking you guys along for the ride while I'm doing it as well so that you guys can see just how Hard but also fun it is to be an entrepreneur, a fempreneur, a small business owner and all that jazz. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling, put on a blazer, and get into this meeting. <laughs> Actually, to be fair though, I was wearing a different blouse earlier for the memorial service, so I don't know if I mentioned that. But who would have thought? Alright, see you friends. Hello! Hi, Hi Texas Hello. Planner Babes! <laughs> What's going on? It's like 9 p.m. over there, right? Uh-huh. Yep. You ladies are amazing. Later. A boomerang. So wave if you can in three, two, one. <laughs> Love it. 
It is now 8.01 p.m. I spent 45 minutes with them and it was amazing. Like I loved listening to everyone's stories and like Michelle, shout out to Michelle from Daily Inspirations. Like she shared this beautiful reel that she made using my washi inks and she made it into kind of like a petal or a leaf and it looked like a watercolor painting, but like stop motion and it was so cool. Honestly, meeting people and just seeing what they do or how they use the tapes that I make or the products that I make, they literally bring my creations to life and it inspires me all over again. Yeah, I had a really good time talking to everyone in the Texas Planner Babes group. So shout out to the Texas Planner Babes. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm going to get ready for my date with my boyfriend now. It's, yep, it's 8.02 and I have the most patient boyfriend ever. <laughs> I am going to change out of these clothes and get into something more cash <laughs> and go out on my date. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this day in the life, I guess. It's definitely not your typical entrepreneurial day, but um, every day is always different as an entrepreneur and as a small business owner. It's never the same as much as I want it to be the same, but I enjoy it and I love it. and. I'm honestly just living for it right now. Like I, my goal is to get bigger, but that's not like the end goal for me. Like I really want to enjoy the process as I'm growing and like growing with people who really love the products, really love the brand and the mission statement, which is to empower women and to inspire paper crafters to push the bounds of creativity through innovative products. Like there's, there's so many things that I I want for this business and as much as I want for myself to get there like right now and work towards that um, I've also learned that slowing down and enjoying the process is also very very beautiful and it's kind of like one of those things where it's like stop and smell the roses kind of thing and that's the same for me in this this process that I'm in right now and the season and stage of business. It's so hard and I don't want to get there, but I'm also loving the the small moments, the small wins even, and enjoying the process while I still can. Anyways, that's my rant, not rant, TED talk. That is my TED talk for today. I am tired. Can you guys tell? Okay, I've talked too much. My voice is getting raspy from just like this whole day of talking to others. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me on this uh, day in the life. I know I didn't plan like most of the content or some of the content with this camera, but I hope you guys can see kind of like the difference. Like I can like wave out my arms and you guys can see it and it's on stable. I think it's like active stable or something. And I hope this was helpful for you who, or for, for anyone who is interested in the Sony ZV-E10 with the wide angle lens. I think it's like WL3 from Ulavia. Ooh, something. <laughs> okay. Bye friends. See you guys in the next one.